there is a region beyond most of the planets in the solar system called the Kuiper Belt. The first object discovered in this area was Pluto. However, it took many years to find out objects that were there. The first time images the Kuiper Belt were captured on November 2nd in 2015. These images were some of the most interesting ever taken from space, but have recently been surpassed by the sharpest images obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope. The Kuiper Belt, a cool, drawn-out shaped region lies in the outer solar system beyond Neptune, the eighth planet from the Sun. AI thought initially interesting because of this shape. It later became clear that this belt would be one of the most fascinating areas of the solar system. The belt is named after scientist Gerald Cooper, whose work in the mid 20th century helped to understand the area beyond Pluto. In 1951, Cooper wrote a scientific paper speculating on the possibility of objects beyond Pluto. Pluto was initially thought to be a main feature of the Kuiper belt. It is now known that Neptune's orbit, not Pluto's, defies the inner edge of the belt. Neptune's gravitational pull has been crucial to this region. Astronomers appreciated Kuiper's innovative ideas, although his predictions did not exactly match what was later observed in the belt. Scientist Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto in 1930 in what we know we call the Kuiper Belt. At the time, astronomers did not know much about the outer solar system and did not expect to find so many icy worlds beyond Neptune. Most thought the solar system was composed of gas and rocky planets, with Neptune as an icy giant at the edge. Initially, Pluto was considered a single planet despite its regularity, inclined orbit. The Kuiper Belt was not recognized until 1992, 60 years after Pluto's discovery. Since then, it has been understood that Pluto is not an isolated object, but the part of a larger group of objects in the outer solar system. Many Kuiper Belt object KBOs have been found that confirm the existence of this region. Pluto holds a special place in the history of astronomy because it was considered the ninth planet for many years. However, as more KBOs were discovered, especially those larger than Pluto, the International Astronomical Union decided to reclassify it. The rules determining what constitutes a planet changed in 2006, which led to Pluto being reclassified as a dwarf planet. Despite this change, Pluto will always be remembered as one of the most important discoveries in our solar system. Without its discovery, we would not have investigated the Kuiper Belt as deeply as we do today. The Kuiper Belt is considered an extension of our solar system because it is in the same region of space and is influenced by the Sun's gravity. The eight major planets, including Neptune, make up the solar system while the Kuiper Belt extends to the edge of the solar system. This outer region of the solar system is distinct to the interior and is composed of icy objects such as comets, asteroids, and dwarf planets. NASA states that the material in the Kuiper Belt is believed to be remnants of the early solar system, or approximately 4.6 billion years ago. This allows us to observe conditions and materials from that time, as if we were watching history unfold before our eyes. Today, Pluto and its moons are in this belt, along with other dwarf planets such as Haumea, Markimek, and Eris. The Kuiper Belt also hosts a large variety of small icy objects, making it a unique part of the solar system that we rarely see. This belt is much larger than the main asteroid belt which contains mainly of asteroids and other materials and rocks located between Mars and Jupiter. AI thought the asteroid belt is relatively thin and contains many small medium-sized bodies. The Kuiper belt is more extensive and possesses 20 to 100 times more mass than the asteroid belt, both in numbers of objects and in total weight. 
it is surprising that it's taken so long to discover this region. But the fact that it was not found immediately does not diminish its importance in the solar system. The Kuiper Belt hosts a variety of celestial bodies including small dwarf planets such as Pluto, Haumea, Makemake and Eris. Pluto was discovered by Clyde Tombag in 1930 and was considered the ninth planet until 2006, when the International Astronomical Union changed the standards for planets, reclassifying it as a dwarf planet. But this planet with a diameter of 2,377 kilometers, Pluto orbits the Sun along with other large dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt. Researchers and experts have greatly expanded their knowledge of this distant region through their studies of Pluto, but this marked only the beginning. In 2004, a group led by Mike Brown discovered Eris, whose unique elongated shape can be attributed to its rapid rotation, adding a variety to the Kuiper belt. This dwarf planet, which is approximately 1,960 kilometers wide, has revealed numerous interesting details about objects in this region. Make Make is another discovery by Mike Brown's team in 2005, with a diameter of about 1,430 kilometers. Make Make has no significant atmosphere, but its bright surface, composed of methane, ethane, and tholine, makes it one of the brightest objects in the Kuiper Belt. Eris also discovered in 2005, it's slightly smaller than Pluto, but denser, with a diameter of about 2,326 kilometers. Eris has been crucial to read the evaluation of the definition of a planet, helping us to better understand the diversity of objects in the Kuiper Belt and how they interact with each other. These dwarf planets provide valuable information about the composition of the Kuiper Belt how it has evolved over time, and its role in the history of the solar system. Without them, our understanding of this region would be much more limited. In addition, the Kuiper Belt holds an abundance of objects, possibly the progenitors of comets, due to their shorter orbits compared to orthodox clouds, which is believed to be even more distant than sphere-shaped, extending from approximately 2,000 astronomical units to possibly 200,000 astronomical units from the Sun. Both bodies are composed primarily of ice and are thought to be potential sources of comets. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.